today we're going high octane with our pumpkins and creating this cool headless horseman rainbow torch pumpkin. I'm Rachel DeBarros. Happy Halloween, y'all. Well, when it comes to Halloween, your typical jack-o'-lantern with a little candle inside, or maybe you played safe with a little glow stick, well, that's just not gonna cut it. So here's a high octane version for folks just like us. First, you're gonna need a medium to large size pumpkin. And the reason for that is that you wanna be able to fit a roll of toilet paper inside. Now, this is your cheap one ply paper. I like it because it's smaller, more compact, and easier to shove down in there. After that, you wanna work on some cool flame effects. So you wanna find something that's got boric acid and a common source for that are pesticides. So I have my handy roach killer here and you can even see on the label it says with boric acid. So we know we're good there. And boric acid is gonna give you your cool green flame effects. So we're gonna take this and rub it all on the outside of our pumpkin and that's gonna burn a nice green. And for a cool blue and multicolor flame effect, I'm going with ethanol. Now, ethanol is commonly found in hand sanitizer, and these sanitizers are a great medium because they stick pretty well to your pumpkin. It's not gonna run off on you, and it's gonna also help our boric acid adhere to the surface. So as all this burns, you're gonna get a nice blue to green type of effect where it's gonna meet the orange and yellow flame at the top. And of course, to finish it all off, the grand finale, you're definitely gonna need some way to light it. So I have some leftover torch fuel here from the summer. You can certainly use kerosene. I like this a little bit better. It doesn't smell as bad as kerosene, although that's arguable, but it's lying around. So guess what? It's getting used. But before we can start lighting everything on fire, well, well we kind of need a face. So let's get started with that. I have the outline and let's get carving. So I think I came up with a nice spooky looking face and it's about to get a whole lot scarier. So let's work on some of our flame effects. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my roll of toilet paper right inside and because the pumpkin is all wet in there, that's going to stick pretty nicely and this is where we're going to throw in your kerosene or torch fuel and you're going to go ahead and douse your toilet paper but I'm going to hold up a second and do that outside. So let's move to the outside of the pumpkin starting with our hand sanitizer base here. I'm going to rub that up. This is going to be the most healthy pumpkin we've ever seen. And as you can see, this stuff stays on here pretty well. It's not really running and it's gonna serve as a nice base. All right, so now let's add our boric acid here. You can see it's a fine powder. And if you're doing this on a kitchen table, uh, you definitely wanna wipe it down after you're done, especially if you have pets uh, in the house or children. And what I'm gonna do is if you have some gloves, that's, that's really great. Uh, mine are at the shop, so grocery bags will do. They've got no holes on them. So we're gonna go ahead and rub. These are my makeshift. Uh, we're gonna rub that uh, boric acid on there, add some more of this. You have to work kind of quickly because the hand sanitizer starts to dry up on you. And we're gonna add a little more boric acid. I'm gonna clean up this kitchen here and let's get outside and see what this thing looks like. All right, for the moment of truth right now, let's see how this is gonna turn out. Now, all I'm doing is dousing our toilet paper with my torch uh, fuel here. That's about good right there. 
and we're quite ready to light this, but before we light it, just a couple safety tips. Yeah, I know, I know. Like, way to ruin the excitement, but uh, of course we're working with fire here, so you wanna definitely do this in a safe area, not inside your home or near something flammable. We're doing it on the driveway. Uh, if you're doing it in the grass, you can certainly wet it down or put like a cookie sheet underneath there. Uh, the flames can get pretty tall, two to three feet, but it's actually rather controlled and it's gonna burn for about an hour or so also you don't want to put this in the path where children might be walking by with their Halloween costumes those are quite flammable and we want to keep the flame contained to the pumpkin not to the costumes so let's see how this is gonna look and the fire starts off pretty slow it takes a while to get going so it's really nothing out of control and it's starting up here, it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna step back and, and watch this. Looking just like a cool headless horseman. So the colors may be a little bit difficult to see on the video, but they look pretty cool. So post up your cool pumpkin creations. I'd love to see them all. Post them in the comments. And until next Halloween, have a spooktacular one.